Today, we will be taking a look at YouTubers that you didn't know actually had a knack for acting. Let's get right into the video with Anthony Padilla and the Angry Birds movie. If you're not too familiar with the name Anthony Padilla when it comes to YouTube, then you may recognize him as the other half of Smosh. At one point, Ethan and Ian were the face of YouTube creating some of the funniest content on the platform. My friends and I used to laugh at these guys for hours on end. Throughout their time on YouTube, they definitely had time to master their acting skills. In 2016, Anthony was actually able to voice Hall in the Angry Birds movie. He was in this movie along with a ton of other famous actors. Anyways, check out these clips. Really Doesn't matter. Launch them. The oh, this guy looks good. He's gonna make it. Oh, I'm oh, I'm gonna three right now. Nope. Hey, he's coming back. But duck. Get down. Uh, did we win? We think you guys would be perfect for the roles of Bubbles and Hal in the new Angry Birds movie coming out in May. What do you think? Can we just have a quick moment to discuss, please? Of course. Yes! Oh my god! I can't god. believe that! David Dobrik in the Angry Birds movie 2. There isn't a shadow of doubt that you won't know who David Dobrik is. He is easily one of the biggest vloggers on YouTube with over 18 million subscribers. David Dobrik's vlogs are always full with fun and heartwarming content. This was all compacted into easy to watch 20 minute videos. This dude is just so lovable and recognizable, which is why he found himself performing one of the most famous one-liners. He voiced as Axel in the second Angry Birds movie. Dobrik didn't get too much screen time since his character just had a dance battle, so it's honestly fair that you might have missed him. But knowing that it's David Dobrik makes the clip so much better. Used to a break dance battle? Oh, it's on! Wow. Try, 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 try. Oh, it's on! <laughs> Grace Helbig, Trolls. Grace Helbig is a consistently inconsistent YouTuber. She has 3 million subscribers and she's the type of YouTuber that does the whole shebang on the platform. She posts fashion reviews, tutorials, challenges, and much more. You might like them, you might hate them, but you cannot unsee them. But Grace also has a rather successful podcast at the moment. It's called Not Too Deep, so if you're trying to learn more about her, that would be a great place to start. Hey, but who knew that she could also act? Her first official role in a movie was the 2016 DreamWork film called Trolls. She voiced Cookie Sugarloaf and literally voiced the whole beginning of the movie. In this film, Grace definitely nailed the opening. I say no troll left behind. I mean no troll left behind! Don't worry, she's safe. No, so left behind. But we'll be a lot safer the further we get from Bergen. Dan and Phil, Big Hero 6. Next up, we have the iconic YouTube duo, Dan and Phil. They collectively hold more than 13 million subscribers. One of their channels called Dan and Phil Games was actually one of the fastest growing channels on YouTube back in 2014. This is probably what caused Disney to notice them and offer them the role. They were in Disney's Big Hero 6 and I just want to put it out there that I absolutely love this movie. It's too bad though that Dan and Phil's role of the technicians were only available in the UK release of this film. This wasn't even on home copies either, it was just on the version that you would see at the movie theater. I have a guy with brown hair. Yeah. If I kind of just did this, I'd look like the guy in the film. Mine's yeah. slightly receding and older than me. <laughs> I have been living as male technician one for like a week and a half now. The director said if there's exclamation marks, I have to give it my all. I was just extremely excited to come to the studios and see how the whole thing is put together. There's quite a lot of words in this one, so if I get it wrong 19 times, then just forgive me in advance. And it turned out that we'd be stood in front of a microphone in front of a giant projection of the movie. Yeah, I was terrified. We've lost all contact with the pod. Sir, we've picked up a slight irregularity in the magnetic... Con magne Disney clearly noticed how much the fans loved loved having these two in their movies, so Disney actually invited them back to voice two of the gorillas in Disney's The Lion Guard. Here's a clip from the movie back in 2016. Ooh. Oh look, you've brought some friends. What fun. So, who are you? And what are you doing in the Pride Lands? <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, that's easy. I'm Majinuni, and this is my brother, Hafifu. We're looking for someone called King Zimba. He's a lion? I think they mean Simba. Yes, that's right. 
Todrick Hall, American Idol With over 3.5 million subscribers on YouTube, it is no surprise that Todrick Hall has come a long way. However, back in 2009, he actually auditioned for American Idol. They performed their music to the judges, and by no surprise, they ended up moving forward with the competition. Sadly, they did end up getting eliminated in the top 16. If anything, this was beneficial to Todrick's career as he went on to upload more and more YouTube videos. This just propelled their online career to new heights and let them consistently release new music. Let me just say just this, Todrick is back! Oh. <laughs> Yo, dude. What you did just there is you proved that you could really sing. That's why you're here. All this stuff about you being a dancer and all this kind of stuff. That was one of the best vocals I heard all night, all the last couple of weeks. Alright, so I'm probably cheating on this one as PewDiePie didn't even cameo himself in this one. He was literally just on screen playing Call of Duty while Ike and Kyle were in the room talking. This episode highlighted PewDiePie's influence on the younger generation. The guy in the show actually ended up starting his own YouTube channel. PewDiePie. That's not the bullet. And I gotta run! Run for the bunker! Run! Mike, we can go play the game downstairs! Isn't that better than watching some guy on YouTube playing it? Alright, I hope that's enough. Meh. <laughs> you see? Look at this! Ike has all his friends over, and they're just sitting around on their own computers, barely talking to each other. Ike is watching PewDiePie play Dragon Age. I'm going! PewDiePie! And this kid is watching Carmen commenting on people commenting on Dragon Age. It's a really great game, the characters are so rich. But is it such a butthole, oh my god. Jojo Siwa in the Angry Birds movie 2. I'm starting to notice a pattern between YouTubers and Angry Birds. But it's too late to go back now, so let's introduce Jojo Siwa. Surprisingly, Jojo has been involved in show business since she was 10 years old. She competed in televised dance competitions, and was even featured in several Disney and Nickelodeon shows. When she found YouTube, her high energy personality helped her gain over 11 million subscribers. Jojo Siwa ended up landing a role in the Angry Birds sequel. She voiced Jay, who was a little blue bird that matched her personality. Then Jojo Siwa agreed to do a voice. Mommy, did you get my picture? Did you get it, Mom? She's got so much energy and it has this little raspy voice. And I think it just makes her pop. Oh, mm, I got it! Whoa! I was just so happy because I've never done a feature film before. So what? better way to jump into the feature film world than the most adorable and awesome animation. Dan TDM Wreck-It Ralph 2. We've got easily one of the biggest gaming YouTubers ever. He conveniently had a role in the animated gaming related movie Wreck-It Ralph 2. Dan ends up making an appearance as E-Boy. He acts as eBay's notification system who sends a reminder to Ralph during the movie. Not much more to say about this one, so we'll let Dan do the talking for us. <laughs> who are you? I'm your friendly eBay alert messenger. Just here to let you know your bid expires in eight hours. Okay, thanks, E-Boy. You got it, chum. <laughs> it should be called E-Boy Saves the Internet. Next up, we have Lanky Box and Squid Game. After watching the Squid Game show, they loved it so much that they wanted to be in it themselves. They made their own version for YouTube where they put on custom Squid Game clothes and more. They even made their own Squid Game song. This got almost 5 million views and you can tell that all their fans loved it. Just take a look at this clip and watch what happens at the end. Lanky Box in the Squid Games. Gotta call it the Cringe Games. Squid on him. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. In the squid games, can we get to the end? In the squid games, all I want is a friend. I'm giving away an iTunes gift card to someone who subscribes in the next seven days, so make sure to subscribe and comment down below. So many YouTubers have crazy hidden talents that you would never know about. Click the video on the screen to see Lanky Box's hidden talent.